What's up everybody, Tindo here, and if you're at all familiar with my channel, you probably know that I do a lot of thrifting. Specifically, I thrift for video games, mostly. But in the course of thrifting for video games, I often come across a lot of weird things. Case in point, I collect Pez now. Pez! Pez. Pez. About two weeks ago now, I believe, I came home with a giant box of Pez. It was about six or seven hundred of them. I was a little bit hyperbolic on YouTube, you know, trying to get the clout. And I said that it was about a thousand. I never did count them. It could be a thousand. It's really hard to gauge how many Pez could fit in a box. It's about, I don't know, two cubic feet. But I'll leave a link to that video down in the description below. Go watch it if you haven't already. And maybe you'll see why I now am a Pez collector. I, I collect Pez now. That was not part of the plan. I didn't want to be a Pez collector. I'm still not sure that I am, but I will tell you that now in the course of making videos for my YouTube channel, as well as in the course of just living regular life, I've seen a lot of Pez. I've seen a lot of Pez. I went to the mall to buy some new flippy floppies. There were Pez there. I went to the grocery store. There was Pez there. I went to the dollar store. There weren't any Pez at the dollar store. But everywhere else that I went, there was Pez. So. What I did was I lived my day-to-day -day life and went grocery shopping, and I filmed my regular YouTube videos, and if there happened to be Pez wherever I was, I turned the camera on there, and that's what this video is, so check it out. My first stop was a store called Five Below in my local mall, and this one blew my mind because not but a couple of videos ago, underneath one of my thrifting videos, someone commented and suggested that sometimes Five Belows have cheap video games, and in this exchange, I told this person, I don't believe we have any Five Belows out here. I've shopped at Five Belows a lot on the road when I travel. It's one of my favorite stores to go in and just browse because they're all a little bit different. They all have lots of cheap stuff that's under five dollars hence the name five below there's hannah wave and i searched for these five below stores when i first moved here a couple years ago but it looks like we looked it up and literally these stores have popped up all around phoenix in the last couple of months i mean it's completely random and completely a surprise but i'm happy they're here if for no other reason i can finally buy this nugs not drug sign everybody needs one of these i need one you need one everybody needs a nugs not drug sign and then looking around the store further, it's always great to see the random stuff that they have. This comic sketchbook, here's a Fortnite book. These Five Below stores are really like spicier big lots. They get everything at a discount wholesale and then they resell it for cheap. All this stuff was probably a little bit pricier when it was originally in a different store, but now it's here and it's $5 or less and that's awesome. So I looked around the whole store, couldn't find the Pez, and finally I found them hiding back here tucked at the end of the candy aisle and looky here there's some pretty good stuff but it's all also random like there's more to every set that's here but these are just like the overstock ones there's tons of jurassic park but it's just duplicates of the same two dinosaurs there's tons of lion king but it's just duplicates of the same two or three characters and unfortunately there are some super nintendo pez here but it's all duplicates of the same three I really want to find that whole set in box and I want to hang it on my wall, but I'm happy there's at least a few of them here. And there were quite a few Disney Pez here, including these Aladdin Pez. And it was the same deal, tons of duplicates of the same three characters, but hey, at least the genie's here. The genie's pretty much the only Disney character that matters. Rip Robin Williams. There was a rather futuristic self-checkout here. Uh, it was just all nice and clean and there were no traditional checkouts whatsoever. I guess they're really trying to gear this shop towards the kids because it's, it's all stuff for, you know, younger people down to teenagers. And I can kind of see how that works now because we're not far at all from Arizona State University. And this is definitely people are going to be coming to shop for their dorms. So, so I'm 29 years old. I might be getting a little old for this store, but I don't care. I'm going to shop here until I die because it's the best store ever. The end. The next stop is a store called FYE for your entertainment. And if Five Below is a store for the youngins, FYE is a store for the OGs. I've been shopping at an FYE here and there since I can remember. And they've always just had tons of random cool stuff. I love looking in them. There was one in my hometown and it was just like this. Just random stuff like these Blue Eyes White Dragon. I don't know, what were they? Kitty Puffs? Cereal Puffs? I was really bad at this chocolate. They missed a great opportunity to put Blue Eyes White Chocolate on that bar, but it wasn't. It was Blue Eyes White Dragon something candy bar. And, of course, they had a pretty large selection of Pez. 
This is the only store that I went to on my quest for Pez that had both a large selection of Funko Pop Pez and a large selection of OG Pez. It was usually just one or the other. A lot of places nowadays, if they have Pez at all, they just have the Funko Pop. But super happy to see these guys. So I ended up buying all the Mario characters that I could get my hands on. This trip to Walmart was brought to you by my dire need for some new socks. I weigh about 375 pounds and I can wear out a pair of socks faster than anyone you know. The sheer weight of me just wears them down. And where else do you go for cheap socks but Walmart? So while I was there, I decided to go in search of Pez. Now this particular Walmart is the closest Walmart to my house, so I'm pretty familiar with it. And this is one of those Walmarts that has a new age section of collectibles, comic memorabilia, etc. So of course there were a few Pez here, but they were only Funko Pop Pez. And here's one that Hannah found. I'm not familiar with who this character is, but at first we thought it was Mario, but it's not. And I only ended up grabbing this Crash Bandicoot one. I was pretty happy to find that. Love me some Crash Bandicoot. And here's a few more that were laying around, but everything in this aisle was pretty bare. So we kept moving. I looked all around the store anywhere. There could be a few Pez. And the only other place, of course, that we found some were in the candy aisle. Here's your Pez refills, $1.88 I believe they were, and then here is a few Pez, not very many. Honestly, I was more interested in this box that they're in than anything. Part of me just wanted to take the whole box of them up front and try to buy them and try to get away with buying this box as well. But of course I didn't, I'm not buying all these needless Pez. But I did make sure to look at all of them to make sure that I saw everything that was there. And I ended up buying one. I'm not sure why, but I really thought that Walmart was going to have more Pez than they did. I guess that's because growing up, that's where I bought my Pez, was at Walmart. Our last stop was Target, and I can't even really remember what we were stopping there for. But it was pretty interesting because there were some strange things going on at this Target. Look, there's no Target sign on the front of the building, just a giant Target tarp. I guess they're undergoing some remodels, I'm not really sure. But inside, there were large portions of the store that looked like this. They were empty. Just completely empty so I'm not sure what's going on there but it was pretty interesting to look at a half empty target maybe that's where all the Pez used to be lol but looking around there's no Pez in the candy aisle it looks like Target's trying to stay above that kitty stuff which is a bummer because I never knew until today until this trip to Target how bad I wanted a Pez with the Target dog on top of it wouldn't that be cool I knew very well the Pez weren't going to be in the toy section but I stopped anyways because you've always got to look at the Hot Wheels I'm not a Hot Wheel collector, though I am a X-Men collector, at least the 80s and 90s X-Men. So these caught my eye. Not going to end up buying them. I'm trying really hard not to get into collecting Hot Wheels. We have Hot Wheel content on this channel, which is why I've had to buy a few recently. But, but I don't need to buy any more of them because I've already got a thousand Pez that I don't know what to do with. Another thing that I don't have much interest in collecting is Funko Pop figures. But sometimes some of them catch my eye, like those giant ones on the bottom. The giant ones are always cool. And of course, anything Minecraft catches my eye. So I took a look at these. I've actually not really seen many Minecraft pops. I'm sure there are plenty of them. I don't really go looking for them, which is why I haven't seen many. But, but these were pretty cool to see. And finally, I found where I was pretty sure where the Pez would be. I know Target has had these collectible aisles a little bit longer than Walmart has. And I'm pretty sure that I've seen Pez in these aisles before. So I'm taking a look around and unfortunately... This is really on the small side of these collectible areas that I've seen inside of Targets. I've seen them much, much bigger than this, so I'm not seeing any Pez, and I'm just checking the nearby aisles to make sure that I'm not going crazy. They must have moved this very recently, because this Target is also very close to my house, and I remember this aisle being much bigger, but you can see a lot of stuff's getting moved around, so nothing's quite where it should be. But there were these guys. Almost nothing. A Star Wars and a Yogi Bear. That's it. Two Pez, whole target. That's it. That's all you get. <laughs> I kind of thought that was strange, but I dug around quite a bit to just make sure that that was all there was. And I saw this Stranger Things DVD set in the shape of a VHS box. And for a split second, I went insane, I guess, and thought maybe there was actually Stranger Things on VHS. I know that's crazy, but... I would buy it. That's why it's not so crazy. If there were actually a whole season of Stranger Things, or even just an episode, on a VHS, I would buy it. 
I know it's crazy, but it is what it is. And here's some footage from a recent thrift haul video that I did that some of you might have already seen. I ended up finding some Pez on this thrift haul. I didn't go in looking for them, but they were there. This is probably something that's going to start happening a lot now because it turns out that there are just Pez everywhere. And now that I'm looking for them, I'm going to find them. That's just how this works. And on this day, I did end up finding quite a large handful in this very bin. They were all in one place. And here we go, not a bad haul, just enough to fit in one hand. Let's take these bad boys back to the game room. All right, guys, we're back in the game room. I've got a lot of goodies. I bought like 40 pairs of socks. If I ever become a rich man, it'll be wasteful, I know, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I would wear a new pair of socks every day and just throw them away. It'd just be so nice. Brand new cushy socks. And I also got myself a new pair of flippy floppies. Hey, they're so new and fresh. Look, these are going in the trash can. Yeek! But the rest of this is mostly Pez. I'll start with the one thing that isn't Pez. Nugs, not drugs. This is awesome. There's a long story behind this sign. I'll give you the short one. When I left college, I went on the road shooting video, shooting and editing video, which is really a large part of how we got here making YouTube videos. And my college roommate, it seems like every other memory I have of college is me and that dude eating chicken nuggets. So I saw this sign on one of my first jobs and sent him a picture of it. And ever since then, we've got this ongoing joke about nugs, not drugs. And I've just thought ever since then, why didn't I buy that sign and send it to him? Because it's perfect for him. So I always told myself that if I ever saw it again, I'd buy it and I'd send it to him. So that's why I got it. It's on the way to you, Travis. So check it out. Next, Pez. This is a pretty good haul, I think. I was the most excited about these, so we'll save them to the end. We'll go through the rando. Uh, let's start with the ones that are open. These are the ones from the thrift. And I'm very happy to find them at the thrift because you don't pay anything for them. These were all paid for by weight. So, I mean, there's not even 20 cents here. Hot Wheel. And this one's weird because it's on a wheel and then on the Hot Wheel and it kind of moves. I don't know. Don't really love it, but it's cool. And it is Hot Wheels brand. That's pretty cool. Princess. I believe I've already got a couple of her in my big box, but it was at the thrift. Superman, I think this is supposed to be Henry Cavill. I don't know, but it's kind of Henry Cavill-ish. But all those white dudes that have played Superman kind of look the same. Dino. Nemo, different size flippers and all, pretty cool. My 6,000 Santa Claus, if you've watched my Pez video, you'll see that half of that stuff that I bought was holiday related, so I've already got Santa Clauses, but what's one more? Spider-Man, rip Spider-Man in the MCU, F's in chat, pour one out for the homie Spider-Man, a Ninja Turtle, and a T-Rex. And then we'll move on to these guys. A bunch of random stuff here, but let's just start with these three because they go together. Aladdin. I love me some OG Aladdin. I actually haven't seen the live action one yet. I plan to. I'm reserving judgment until I do, but Aladdin, Jasmine, and your boy Genie. I'm very happy about these. I've got, I believe, Jasmine and Aladdin, not in box, in that giant box that I bought, but there's going to be a display over here on the wall. I picked out a spot. Then I'm going to put all these that are still in package. I've got a bunch of Pokemon from the haul that I brought home. And I want the in package ones hanging on the wall. I'm going to have a big square wall space dedicated to these in the game room. So very happy for these. And then next, Crash Bandicoot. This is my first and only Funko Pop Pez. Which is pretty awesome. And then, Captain Marvel. This is the only one I bought at Walmart. It was really slim pickings, but... It's nice and colorful, and I really enjoyed the Captain Marvel movie, so happy to have that one. And that's all those, and then here are the ones that I'm most happy about. <laughs> Look at that. We got the inbox Mario, we got the inbox Yoshi, and the inbox Donkey Kong. And this is awesome because the ones I was most excited about in my giant haul in the previous video were these guys. 
And these are from an earlier set. Because look at here. Compare the Mario. It's just not at all the same. The colors are a bit lighter on this one, of course. The Pez dispenser is a completely different color. I'm pretty sure it was a normal thing back in the day for the same head to come on multiple different colored bottoms. I'm not sure of that. If you're watching and you consider yourself a Pez specialist, please feel free to inform us below. I, I'd like to know more, but I do have several that have different color bottoms. Same with this. Everything about these are different. This guy's definitely older. His head's fatter. Not the same at all. So, of course, the bottom is going to be a different color, but... And then, I don't have a Donkey Kong for my original haul, but I do have Diddy. So I've got both of these guys now. And I'm very happy to have all these. Oh yeah guys, this is uh, Future Tendo here, just budding in on past Tendo. I also have a little Koopa Troopa. Forgot about him. Peace out. I'm very, very happy to hang all these guys on the wall. I'll definitely in future videos be looking out for the rest of this set, because I know there's a few more. I have Googled it. I have looked at them on eBay. But these came from Five Below. I was very happy to find out that we have a Five Below here in Phoenix. All right, guys, that's another haul video. Look at all these Pez. I know it wasn't my typical haul video, but I hope you liked it anyways. Comment below, let me know if you liked it. Also comment below, let me know what your favorite one that I got was. I'm gonna go with this Yoshi one. That's definitely my favorite. Also guys, hit that like and subscribe button so that you'll get a notification next time I post a video like this because I'll be building a whole display for these guys as well. You'll want to check that out for sure. That's coming later down the road. But also I need you to do me a real quick favor and head over to my Twitch page and hit the follow button there too because we're doing all kinds of goofy stuff over there that you're going to want to see. But guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. And until next time, guys, peace out.